I'm not, <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm not sure how I want to start this video. But I just want to give you guys an explanation. On things you might be seeing in the near future. If you've been with us long enough, you guys are aware of the fact that Christian was diagnosed with scoliosis back in June of 2020. It was right after COVID started. So, at first, it started out because he went to his physical as normal. And they had put something that looks like, I think what the math tool was we used back in school. But it looks similar to that. And they put it up against his back. I think they do it with every child at, hit, at that age. And they noticed it was a little off. So they sent Christian for x-rays. They got the x-rays back to the doctors. And then from there, the doctor had informed us that there is something, there is a butterfly-shaped bone in his spine. So one of his spine bones, your spine, if you don't know, is made up of several little bones. But one of his bones has like a dip in it. I explained this way back. I want to say summer of last year, even summer of the year before. On my other channel, I'm not sure which channel I told you guys this on before. But they noticed about a fleshy bone. So, they weren't worried about it. They just did a checkup. They told us to go back in six months. And then from that appointment, they told us he's doing great. We can actually move it out in nine months. Well, now they are moving it back to six months. So, I had he had his last appointment yesterday, and then I had to make another appointment for six months out. I was working all day today, so I didn't have a chance to call Children's Hospital and let them know that I need to make our, another appointment. So, there was a need for concern yesterday. Your spine is supposed to go up and down like this. Christians, it's curving. So, it's not curving like this, like a fish swimming. It's curving, whereas it's curving this way and they're going straight up. So, he's got, I can't really show the shape. He's got like a piece like that. I was sure it's like a picture of the extra and showing you guys that. And so they're saying that his curvature, because at first his curvature wasn't even, there was no curve, it was just straight. He had no problem with the curve or anything. It was just that one bone. He still got that one bone that's butterfly shaped. And then he has his spine, which is now curvy. So, they are concerned about that. And I want to come on and let you guys know this because we don't know what the future holds. I mean, nobody knows what the future holds, honestly. That's all in God's hands. But when I told you guys back in February that I already explained what's going on, this was part of it, it Christian scoliosis, and in February, Christian was diagnosed with autism. Now, we feel blessed in the fact that he's got several friends that he constantly hangs out with that after school. He's not getting picked on or anything like that, which we are beyond blessed to say that. God has been very good in our favor. And I think that has to do with the fact that we put so much trust and love into God and 
we know that in his eyes everything will work out for the best so back to the reason why I'm posting this video we do believe that it's hard to say and I can't say we do believe I am concerned that because Christian's walking at times has gotten worse. He has times where he waddles like a duck, like a pregnant woman. And then he has times where he just lies down and he's too weak to get up. So we are very concerned about those two things. And then as of yesterday morning, he's complaining about back pain in his shoulder blade which the doctor can't figure out where that pain's coming from. Even in the x-rays, nothing was showing that would be causing that back pain. She said it didn't seem like a pulled muscle or like he slept the wrong way. So we're going to be doing tests on that to figure out what is going on and hopefully get some answers really soon before the six-month appointment. But as always, I will keep you guys updated. But you may be seeing Christian, like if we go out somewhere, like we go out to the zoo or somewhere that has like strollers for rent, the option to rent with strollers, we will most likely be renting him a stroller in every video. It's not because Christian is lazy. Not one bit is that boy lazy. But he just gets very tired and lethargic, if you know what that means. So, he gets very tired very easily at this point. We're not even asking for prayers. If you feel the need to pray for us, we would really appreciate it as Catholics. We guide ourselves through God. And we love God. We love Jesus. We love Mary. We love all of the holy disciples. We're not asking for anything. We are just coming on and informing you guys of this to understand why in some videos you may see Christian in a carriage or even just Christian just seems down and cranky like a toddler and not like he should be at his age. That is why it's a mix of his autism on top of the pain that he's in from scoliosis luckily today he woke up with no pain at all but we don't know if it's going to be an everyday thing where he's in pain if it's going to be every so often or if you know he might never i mean if he falls and breaks falls up he'll be in pain but i mean like if the pain from the scoliosis is going to go away which is another thing they said that scoliosis should not be causing pain they also said that his i'm gonna mess this up achilles heel or something like that is very tight but christian is in baseball so he's able to go out play baseball no problem at all as of yet he's only had like two or three games so we're not far enough into the season to say, okay, he's good to go, or okay, maybe we need to take a little break from sports. But this is just an update to keep you guys updated and let you guys know what's going on. And that, while we are hoping for the best, we're putting all of our trust in God at this point. Whatever will be, will be. And I think that's how we're going to end the video. Is however it will be, it will be. Whatever God decides for a Christian is what God decides.